Hello, welcome to Prism Technologies. I am Arjun. In our previous session, we have seen about history of C programming language. In today's session, we will see about structure of a C program and I will give a glance about all the major concepts of C language like comments, preprocessor directives, functions, statements and so on. When I say about a structure, it is like a standard template given by creators of C language. As a C programmer, we should need to follow this pattern in order to make a program look good and to avoid side effects of the language. This is the structure of C program which we need to follow whenever we are writing a program. Let's discuss about each and every section in detail. In the beginning, we have the commenting section. In this section, programmers write few comments about their program. It includes copyright information, author name, created date, project name, and brief description about the program. In C, we have two ways to write comment in a program. If our comment is a single line, then we can use single line commenting. Whereas, if our comment spans to multiple lines, then we can use multi-line commenting. Commenting section plays a crucial role when multiple people are working collaboratively in a single project because one should need to understand the fellow developer's code in order to work as a team. If there is no comments, then it is really hard to understand the program written by someone. Let's have a look at the example C program with the commenting section. This commenting section will be removed by preprocessor in the compilation process. We will discuss more in detail about preprocessor in our further tutorials. And next, it is link section. The code in this section will also be evaluated by a preprocessor. This section contains few lines of code where each line starts with an hash symbol. We can also call these statements as the preprocessor directives. This will be helpful to include some of the header files into our program which will allow us to use some of the inbuilt functions of C programming language like printf and scanf. We will see more in detail about this in our further tutorials. Going further, we have global declaration section. In this section, we will declare function prototypes and some of the global variables where we can able to access them from any function in the program. The statements declared in a global declaration section can be accessed by all the functions in the program. Now we have the main hero in the action, that is the main function. We can also call this as a title card of C program because the execution of C program starts from the main function. Every function has start and end which can be represented by using open and closed curly braces. Now we will see what is meant by a function. A function contains block of code which may have 0 or more statements in it. For example, in this main function we have a block of code. Inside this block we have two statements that is a printf and return. So now what is meant by a statement? A statement is a line of code that ends with a semicolon. In C, every statement should need to end with a semicolon. Return statement is used at the end of each and every function except the function has return type as a void. Actually, functions work like a master-slave mechanism. For example, a master will call a slave and will assign some work to him. After completing the task, the slave should need to report back the status to the master. In the same way, one function will call another function to achieve some task. After completing the task, the callee function should need to return back the status to the caller function. Here, we use the written statement to return back the status to the caller function. I repeat this tutorial is a glance to some of the major concepts in C language. I promise that I'll explain each and every concept in detail in upcoming tutorials. Finally, I would like to ask you one question about the comments. In your career, 
have you got a code without comments in the program if yes then how you felt at the time in my case i got very angry on the developer who wrote the code without any comments it took hell lot of time for me to understand the actual functionality of the program please drop your answer in the below comment box because it will be really helpful for the newcomers that's all for this session in our next session we'll see how to install c compiler in both windows and linux thank you for listening see you later in next session